It started and ended with death. The two brothers suspected of having shot and killed 12 people in an attack on a French satirical magazine died Friday in a hail of French security gunfire. Sharif and Saeed Kouachi had been the focus of a massive manhunt after they allegedly walked into the offices of the Charlie Hebdo publication on Wednesday and killed nine journalists and two police officers before driving off in a stolen vehicle. As French security forces took down the suspects and an apparent accomplice who took hostages at a Paris supermarket, questions were arising on the dangers of foreign-trained Islamic fighters. Investigators say Saeed Kouachi apparently had trained with al-Qaeda in Yemen. Thousands of militants in Iraq, Syria and Yemen are from Europe. The dangers of foreign fighters bringing their terrorist training back home has been at the top of European counterterrorism concerns for years, says David Gartenstein Ross of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. The scope of the problem is pretty enormous. Uh, it's much more than France or any other country can provide 24-7 surveillance to look at, uh, which means that inherently uh, you're going to have uh, some risk. A survivor says one of the Kwachi brothers shouted the attack was to avenge the paper's lampooning of the Muslim prophet Muhammad. After three days of terror, 17 people lay dead in Paris, three of them police. Three gunmen were also killed. It was the worst terror attack in France in years. U.S. President Barack Obama said France had America's full support. In the streets of Paris, the world's seen once again what terrorists stand for. They have nothing to offer but hatred and human suffering. And we stand for freedom and hope and the dignity of all human beings. And that's what the city of Paris represents to the world. And, and, and that spirit will endure forever, long after the scourge of terrorism is banished from this world. But analysts warn that the ideology of violent jihad continues to attract new followers. It is unclear if the Kwachi brothers were working alone or as part of al-Qaeda. Video of the gunman suggested not only a level of training with firearms, but also surveillance and small group fighting tactics, says Gartenstein Ross. I would say that this is somewhat in the mold of uh, the Mumbai attacks, when you had a 10-person team uh, invade that city and shut it down for a long period. It's somewhat in the mold of the Westgate Mall attack. It may be replicated. Uh, one of the good news, though, is that it's easier to prevent because you do have people conspiring. Even as Paris mourned its dead, President Francois Hollande warned that the threats facing France were not over. Sharon Bain, VOA News, Washington.